Hello, it's Heidi Pratt. How are you all? This is my mom cast, my pregnancy podcast, my very exciting journey. This is going to be week 18. Do, 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 do. Today is week 18 and I'm so excited. We just had Mother's Day and yes, obviously my son is not here yet, but he is inside of me and in my mind he's here. I've waited so many years to have him. So I hope you had a great Mother's Day even if you don't have kids. And if you do, I hope you had an amazing time with them and your husband and family or just appreciate your mom or the women in your lives. So I had a different experience of Mother's Day than I've ever had before and a whole new appreciation for all you women out there and hardworking, loving, dedicated moms. The world would be a horrible place without all the endless support and love and effort of incredible moms that help shape the world. So congratulations. Thank you all for everything that you do. And it was just such a fun thing being part of it and having my son and visualizing next year at this time, I'll have like a six or seven month old. And it's just so exciting. I had this little family behind us, this mom and wife and their 11 month old boy. And Spencer and I just kept looking over and being like, oh my God, that's gonna be us and I never know if it's like really weird to kind of talk to the kids and mom and you don't want to like intrude and take over their brunch but so anyways the kid was looking at me so (laughs) it was really fun for me sitting behind him and enjoying what they were kind of going through and watching the mom and how she kind of eats and has the kid next to her and the high chair and his cute little outfit and I fully enjoyed it so we had a lovely brunch And then my husband surprised me with a hundred amazing, beautiful flowers, which was so shocking because I thought that we'd, he didn't get me anything and I didn't want it to be any kind of pressure because we were moving and really busy and I know how it goes, but he definitely surprised me with some passion roses. He got them all the way from El Segundo and they were actually flown in from Colombia. So they're very, very special roses. And it was so funny because we were going to his mom's house. And I sent my family flowers in Colorado because obviously we can't see him, see them. And I didn't want to go empty handed to his mom's event planning on buying this. And I was like, honey, we need to go to the store before we go see your mom. And he's like, no, 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 I have to go there right now. And I'm like, oh man, this is Mother's Day and this isn't going to look good. And we're going to see his mom. And ah, this reflects on me. So we get there and he actually sent her flowers too. So it was a lovely surprise. And uh, pretty funny how it all worked out. But happy Mother's Day and what a day to celebrate. And I just was reflecting on my mom and what an incredible mom she's been. And I mean, you're a mom for a really long time. I've been thinking how many years my mom has been my mother, obviously 30. And just what an amazing person she is and how much she's gone through and the pregnancy stage, the toddler stage to the... I mean, I was not too bad of a teen. I was actually pretty good uh, (laughs) to the young adult stage, which was a little harder for us. And now she's going to be a grandmother to my son. So it's just such a fun full circle thing and just really reflecting on all of that and all the hard work and dedication. So anyways, I had a lot of fun. And it's also fun when your friends are moms. This is the most friends I've had be moms and sending them little happy Mother's Days. It's just such a new chapter of life. And even when my friends had kids, but I didn't, I wasn't pregnant yet. I mean, I understood it, but not fully. So I'm sure when I have kids, it's going to go to a whole new level. So anyways, I hope you guys all had a good time. On a whole another note, 18 weeks, I just booked my hospital tour, which is very exciting. Uh, If you don't know, you can book a private tour. I thought I was going to have to pay for one, but thankfully, I'm not. I just called and asked for a private tour, and they said yes. So I'm so excited. My son's going to be born at the same hospital as Spencer, which is so cute, and I'm really excited to have it be there and to go into the hospital and look at everything and see where we're going to be and what the rooms look like. And I'm going to show Spencer, like, here's the parking. This is your job. You pull up here, drop me off there. I mean, we need like a whole game plan so it doesn't get so crazy right when 
it happens. We need like test runs. I think the week before we should do like test runs, different routes with ways, different times a day. Okay, rush hour traffic, go to the left, go to the right. Because the last thing I want to do is be giving birth in the car. I mean, I'm sure that's more like Hollywood extreme, but still we don't need any chances and I'd like to be in good hands as soon as I can. So it's going to be fun going there and seeing the moms in there and kind of picturing myself and how we're going to do it. I also don't know if I'm going to get an epidural. I might try to do it naturally. I have lower back problems and I've kind of heard that if you get an epidural, it creates lower back problems, but I don't know if that's necessarily true. And then I've heard you have lower back problems no matter what. And then I've heard about pain medication might be better. And it's just really, ah, I'm not sure what to do. I'd like to try to do it natural uh, just for, just to be able to do it and for my child and any benefits. I feel like our bodies are made to be able to do this. I'm certainly having a doula. I just was talking to my masseuse about having her in there. So in case Spencer faints and my mom can't make it, I have this amazing doula who will be helping me and she can fully massage me. She said that she just had and helped deliver her cousin's twins naturally. So in my mind, I'm like, if this lady can have twins naturally, then I think I could do one. And then I have the other, you know, side where why not be more comfortable? Why not get the epidural, keep it easy, also get whatever they're offering to help make it a more pleasant experience. I also don't want it to slow down the birth, which I've heard it could it could do. So I don't know. If you ladies have any suggestions out there for me, I'd love to hear. I'm trying to research as much as I can. And obviously, I want the best for my baby and myself. And I'm just praying that there's not any problems or complications. And just kind of putting it in prayer, too, and being like, okay, God, what am I supposed to do here? Help me out. So I'm going to look into some classes, do some breathing exercises. I'm not sure about the classes, uh, which ones to take or where and my doctor was telling me to make sure not to do them too soon so you don't forget, but I hope to God I don't forget CPR and all those important things because if I forget in like a month or two, I'll definitely forget when the time comes, but I, I'll videotape it and make sure that I don't try to do some practice runs on Spencer, so I don't, but I do have this pregnancy brain and I am literally forgetting everything in the entire world. I think I mentioned that before, but oh my gosh, it really is a thing. So I'm excited to try these classes. I'm also going to start trying prenatal yoga in the next week or two. We're in the middle of moving. So once we get more settled, I can start getting a schedule together because I need to work out more. I have not been working out like I would like to be doing. I, I have been doing seven miles or something around the house, packing and things like that. But I do want to do more cardio and different things and have a better scheduled routine there. I continue to gain a lot of weight on that scale that I don't think I'm supposed to be, but I want to enjoy it. I don't want to stress about it. I want to be healthy, have a few treats here and there, and then rein it in. So that is definitely what I'm working on balancing. But the other classes I, I need to start booking because all this stuff just books up so far in advance and I'm at five months. I can't even believe I'm at five months today. This pregnancy is going by too fast. Uh, so anyways, I'm also going to plan our baby moon. I need to plan that and book that this month, which will be really exciting. And I look forward to another main thing I'm trying to really work on are my dogs. I have four little angel, um, very energetic, we'll say dogs. So they are my children and have been for eight years. I mean, gosh, they're almost eight. So I've had them for like seven and a half. And I want to make sure that they're okay. So I have this little baby I've been using that cries. And it's a pretty good training tool. I think I might have mentioned that. But I'm still working with them, trying to get them all adjusted. And um, just figuring this out one day at a time. I don't want to get too stressed Stress management is something that I really have been working on because over the past few years, I mean, I didn't used to be a stressful person. And then 
all of a sudden I feel like I just have so many responsibilities and so much stuff to do that it just becomes stressful and then it becomes a habit of being stressful. And I know I mentioned that, but I just don't want to be that way. So I'm trying to do stress management and just when I realize my body's getting tense or you know anything like that, just take some deep breaths, make sure I'm incorporating more yoga and stretching, a little more me time that I need to schedule. I got an amazing manicure, pedicure, which was great. It was very exciting. And massages and just just to have a few moments of prayer time by myself every day. So I think stress management is a very important thing to try to do. I'm also trying to do things that I won't be able to do when I have the baby. Even if I'm really tired, I try to go to the movies and a date night, read a book, try to get a little more alone time, take the car ride that I wouldn't normally do, intimacy with my husband, see my family, just all the very important things that I'm not going to be able to do as much. Like I try to go to Colorado and see my family four times a year, and I'm not sure the reality of that. Hopefully I can bring the baby, but there's going to be a lot of different things going on. And right now I could just go anywhere I want to and the grocery store, just run here and run there, and I just know life is going to get a lot more complicated. So we saw King Arthur the other night, which was great. I highly recommend it. I actually was really tired after a long day of accounting and cleaning, and I thought, what the heck? YOLO, I am, to- I don't even know if people say YOLO anymore, but <laughs> um, I'm totally going to go and enjoy this movie with my husband, get dinner, because I have a feeling really soon I'm not going to be doing this with the baby. So that's also why I'm really, I know I keep saying it, but very excited for our baby moon coming up. Another very exciting thing, I am at 18 weeks, so my baby is as big as a sweet potato or an artichoke, depending on what app or book you're reading, and it says that he's yawning and hiccuping and sucking and swallowing, twisting, punching, kicking, all that exciting stuff, but I can't really feel any of it, so I'm wondering what the heck he's doing in there, and I can't wait to start feeling it a little bit more, as my husband says, just enjoy, maybe not feeling them kick because you're going to have a long time feeling it. I'm like, you are right. It's probably going to get a little intense, but that's what's so fun and exciting about my first pregnancy. I just have no idea what to expect or when to expect it. And I'm sure every pregnancy is different for everyone. So it might be the same. And then I wonder, can he think what I think? Like, is he feeling maybe not think that might be a little extreme, but feeling what I'm feeling like when I'm stressed, does he feel stressed? When I'm calm, does he feel calm? And I just want a really calm, happy baby. So I'm trying to just have positive thoughts and positive things. And uh, it's just so interesting, the whole dynamic of really having this tiny little angel inside of you. And sometimes I'm just so blown away and like very... (laughs) There, it's just a miracle. Thank you, God. Thank you for this little angel baby growing inside of me. And I'm definitely going to miss him when he's not in there. I mean, I'll be so excited to see him and hold him. But what a special experience. What a cool, incredible, amazing opportunity. So I'm very thankful, feeling very blessed. I also, on a whole different note, found some incredible maternity clothes Ripe, R-I-P-E, is an incredible company. They are from, I think, based out of Australia. And they have really cool, chic, trendy, incredible pants and some dresses. So I'm very excited. I got some of that in the mail this week, and I can't wait to put it on. I ordered a size that were too small, and I think they might not have fit me even when I wasn't pregnant, but uh, wishful thinking. So I'm going to go ahead and get a new pair of those, but they're very cool. They're very, they're, I mean, I would wear them not pregnant. So definitely check them out if you guys are looking for any kind of maternity wear. I highly, highly recommend them. I actually need to get more stuff from them. I'm looking on their Pinterest and their Instagram and websites. So definitely want to load up on all that because I officially can't fit in any of my clothes. I can hardly even fit in some of the dresses that I have. So I'm very thankful for all the stretchy staples in my closet at this point. Another company I love is Envy de Francis de Francie. It's made in France, so I'm not sure how to 
pronounce it, but Envy de Francis is what I think. And that's more upscale things. So if you're going to a nice dinner or I have a really cute romper that I got and a few dresses that are you can dress up or dress down that are casual, chic, that make you feel really sexy, pretty, maternity type. So if you're looking for something like that, I highly recommend them. And on a whole different note, I just want to tell you guys the supplements I'm taking. So I'm taking Willie's Finest uh, DHA prenatal fish oil, and that is so important. So I never really thought about it, but I did take fish oil before I was pregnant, and this one is for prenatal, and it says in it that they ensure the removal of PCBs, lead, mercury, and arsenic. So that is very important. I would definitely recommend and suggest that for your baby. I'm also taking baby and me to mega foods. So that is the prenatal that I'm taking. It's really great. It's farm to supplement, I guess they'd say, fresh farm to table type. And that's uh, organic, really healthy, non-GMO. And then I'm also taking a probiotic. Definitely ask your doctor about that before you take it. But I'm taking a probiotic with millions of bacteria or whatever it would be. So ask your provider about that. They say the more bacteria, the better, and that it helps your vaginal lining when you give birth and it helps the, the baby. So I just recently started taking that and that is a great addition into my supplements. Well, I'm so excited because Spencer got our first diaper bag, which is thrilling. It is from Kate Spade and of course it has hummingbirds on it. I think that's the only reason. Well, he loves Kate Spade actually from a young age because his sister always had it. But Um, it's so exciting that he wanted to get something. He was researching it and saw this diaper bag with these hummingbirds and said we had to have it. So I thought it was so cute and sweet that he was even thinking that way and then went and got it. So I'm so excited. We officially have our first Kate Spade diaper bag. And I love Kate Spade. I mean, growing up, I could never afford Kate Spade, but it was definitely something I look forward to. So now I'm so excited that my husband just bought us one and he's going to love it so I can get him to carry it a lot because it has the hummingbirds on it. I'll be like, hey, honey, grab your hummingbird bag. So I don't think Spencer realizes how much he's going to have to help. Right now I do a majority of the household chores. I mean, I do the cooking, I do the laundry, I deal with the dogs completely, Sometimes I do the dishes. He mostly does that. I do the accounting, just a few things. And I love being able to do that. I love being domestic. I'm certainly not complaining. I'm good at it. I'm a great cleaner. (laughs) So, but I'm not going to have as much time. I mean, I'm stretched so thin as it is. And he's just going to have to help cook sometimes and help with the dogs a lot. So I hope that he's preparing. And if he's listening to this, Spencer, start preparing for what he's going to have to do. And it is a lot of work, but it's really about being a teammate. And we are a great team. Spencer and I have always been a really great team together. And I think that's one of the reasons why our marriage has been so successful is that we're great in different things and that we strengthen each other you know, that iron and iron. So he's just going to have to be a little bit stronger of iron coming up here. His mom and dad are trying to warn him. And I think, I think he's not uh, fully grasping it, but I will do the diapers. He certainly does not need to do any dirty diapers. I would actually fight him over the diapers. I've waited years to do this. It's like, no, that's my diaper. I'm cleaning it. So I mean, who knows? It could definitely change once I have the kid. But right now, in my mind, I'll fully take care of the baby and he can help here and there. And then he can do all the rest. Excuse me if my voice sounds a little weird today. I, I, I've been sick the last few days I, just from packing and being so worn out. And actually, in my mind, I think it's from this juice bar that I got this juice from. And then I had like this instant sore throat and then I got this cough and cold. Anyways, so I've been sick for the past few days. So I might sound a little bit nasally and congested. And if I do, it's because I am. 
My biggest splurge this week has been hot chocolate. I've had like three this week. I try not to drink it all, but it's so good. I Some people say they don't like milk when they're pregnant, but I love it. I, I don't know why. My body's just craving it. So I'm going to give my son whatever he's craving. I mean, obviously within moderation, but hot chocolate has been my biggest craving this week. And... Mexican food. I haven't had as much as I've wanted to, but just enchiladas and guacamole and salsas. So I'm definitely going to get that for dinner tonight. Anyways, I want to go back to maternity clothes for a minute. Some people are on the fence, whether you get some, whether you don't. And I think it's very worth it. I mean, you're wearing them for nine months and you might wear them again. Who knows, depending on how many kids that you have. So I think it's worth a great pair of jeans, which I would recommend as RIPE, R-I-P-E, and those are great jeans, so you can wear them all the time. They're even, they're super comfortable, they're trendy, they don't even look like maternity jeans. They have some ripped ones, some faded ones, some white ones, I mean, just everything you would want. That's the one that I would recommend from them. They also have some great dresses and shirts, so I would recommend that if you're just going for one pair of jeans or whatever, that's what I would recommend. And then if you're going for a few dressier things, I mean, you can always wear things that you have in your closet, obviously, that you can make work. But I do think if you have the money and if, or, you know, if you're on the fence about it to definitely go ahead and get those maternity clothes. And it's fun. It's fun trying it on and really embracing the whole pregnancy experience. So I think that's part of it. I know I might be one of the only ones, but I was really excited for maternity clothes. It's really fun. It's like, it's real. It makes everything happening. And I always pictured, oh, I'll have my big belly and my bump. And although it might be a little more uncomfortable than I was anticipating, it's no less fun. That's for sure. So check it out. Look around. Amazon has some great stuff. Target has some great stuff, uh, depending on what you want. You can always dress things up, dress things down. Leggings are a staple, obviously, very comfortable. You can wear them with anything. My only problem with some leggings are they're see-through. Like a lot of them are see-through. I don't want to be the see-through pregnant lady personally. Maybe you do and more power to you, but I, uh, I don't, um, yeah, it's just not quite me. So I would wear something long over it or look for ones that aren't see-through, which is a little more challenging. And there's some great stuff online and check out Instagram and Pinterest and the beauty of technology in the modern age. Just use it, ladies. It's also fun to get ideas of what other pregnant women are wearing and how to pair things together. So it never hurts to just browse through on your extra time. I'm sure you hardly have extra time with everything that you're doing. I mean, you are a woman after all, a superwoman. So I'm sure you have a billion things on your plate. Thank you all so much for listening to me and being here and sharing this amazing experience. I have to go back to work packing. A woman's job is never done, that's for sure. So lots to do around here, but thank you for listening to me and sending you guys lots of love. Have a beautiful, blessed week and talk to you soon. Bye.